Hello, this is Ivan from watchandlearn.com uh, This is the third part of the WordPress workflow series and the last one So in this part we are going to be talking about deployment of your site So in the first part we covered your local installation your local environment In the second part I showed you my WordPress development workflow and in this third part I'm going to be talking about how you can de deploy your site uh, to either a staging server to show your client or to a live production server it's the same thing so don't worry about it okay so uh, deploying WordPress is a nightmare why? because WordPress is structured in a way that most of the stuff, so all the configurations and everything is in the database. So, so that's always been a problem. Uh, and not only that, but WordPress stores all uh, URLs in the database in absolute form. So for this site, every URL in the database would be like if I go to, I don't know, video tutorials. You can see uh, the URL is watchlearn.com category video tutorials. So WordPress adds this to its URL path. It isn't just this. So these would be relative URLs. And that would be good because you wouldn't have to change them every time you want to deploy your database to a live server. But since WordPress uh, saves the URLs that way you always have to first download your database dump it and then you have to change all the URLs in the database through search and, fi uh, search and replace and then you have to upload your database to the server so I wanted to make a little more more streamlined workflow for this so uh, on my work in the company I work for we have git enabled environment so what that means is that we have a staging server for our clients uh, on <coughs> and on that server we have git so we uh, push all the files through git to that server but most of you won't have git uh, and on share hostings is very rare to have git so actually I'm using for my shared host, for my projects like Watch and Learn, I'm using Small Orange. This is not a commercial, but Small Orange actually has Git, has SSH access, and so on. It's great. So I'm not going to be showing you how to do it with Git, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it with Mer uh, Word Move tool. Uh, I found this tool just about I don't know a couple of weeks ago, maybe just a week ago and it's real great it's a tool that uh, enables you to push your whole WordPress site including the database to the server and also what it does is uh, when you change something let's say in your theme you can push, push just the files you change and you don't have to watch what files you change you, you just push it and the word move knows what files have been changed and push, pushes just them to the server so it's really great. Uh, before, in the past, uh, WordPress deployment would go something like this. First you would either zip all your files or even worse, not zip them and just upload them uh, by FTP to the server. And then you would uh, dump your local database, then you would change all the URLs in it and then you would upload your database to the server. WordMove uh, gets rid of all of that and just pushes your whole site to the server and watches for the changes. Of course, as I've said, when I'm working uh, for my company, I'm not using WordMove to push the files. I'm using Git to push the files, but I am using WordMove to push the database because uh, database can't be versioned uh, and that's a problem so you can push it with git so before I found this I would push the files with git and 
uh, dump my database, change URLs, and then by hand put it to the server. So I'm just going to show you this workflow. So <coughs> let's say I, our site is finished now. I made this test site, uh, this subdomain test site dot uh, As you can see, it's empty right now, and this is our current site that we're work working on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to test site and uh, first you have to install wor word move and this is the github page of the word move it's a ruby gem so you install it by just typing gem install word move this uh, should work on windows on linux you just have to have ruby on rails installed and its command line so when you do that you just write word move in it and press enter uh, word I already did this so I won't be pressing enter right now but what this does is just makes a file one file called move file uh, which is right here so it's in the root of your project so this is move file it just th creates this file for you and you have to fill it up with your, with your data so uh, you have to fill first for the local server so my local server uh, has URL of test site dot dev it has a WordPress path actually uh, for the local server word move will fill it out everything for you because it reads the WP config file so it will just add this this and everything it will do it for you uh, now for the staging server or the live server you would have to enter your data by hand so I did my vhost is testsite.watchlearn.com uh, pass is homewatchlea public html test site name of the database is watchlea test site user is this password is pass123 pass and the host is localhost after that if you have an SSH access which I do on small orange uh, you would uh, have to add your host name and your username uh, if you don't have SSH keys you would also have to add uh, password but since I'm not using uh, any password uh, I have SSH keys for, for my site uh, I don't have to enter it also if you don't have SSH you can use FTP so that's great okay so this is the move file so let's see how the word move uh, works you have push and pull commands actually you have it on you have a little more you have push pull init and help so init is for initial initializing help is for help and pull is actually so I forgot to mention with mo word move you can pull data from from your site so let's say you have you put your site uh, on the live server for your client to see and now client makes some changes in in the database actually in the WordPress admin so when you start working again on that site you would just do word move pull database and it will pull database from your uh, remote server to your local server and install it and that's it okay so <coughs> let's just see what options do we have so if we go word move help push so we want to push our site we have few options we have you can push WordPress so if you don't go uh, dash W it will push or just WordPress up there so it won't push the themes it will just push WordPress core files you have uploads, you can push uploads, you have themes, you can push plugins, uh, you can push languages, uh, you can push database, this is for rebose and simulate, you can define your environment. So this is a staging environment. If you're working on a uh, in a team on a site, you would probably have a development environment. So some server for all your team to use so you can define that environment and push it by using 
dash e and then the name of the environment uh, this config I don't actually know what that is and you have this all so what we want to do now is push everything to our test site so let's go through it again we have move file in which we defined everything and we're just going to say word move push all and we're going to push everything to our site okay this is going to take a little while so I'm going to pause the video until it's done so the push is over now as you can see uh, the last thing that was pushed was the database as, as you can see what it does is actually takes your local database and right here it says local adapt dump so it changes all the URLs in the database and then push them to remote server and install it in your database so that's great okay so if I go here right now refresh the site I'm getting WordPress installation I'm getting WordPress installation because uh, WordMove is smart enough not to push WP config file where uh, your local so my local data is defined for my database so it doesn't push that file up there uh, WordPress thinks there is not uh, such a file and that it's not installed so you just have to go through this installation process so let's go test site username is pass one two three and uh, that's it submit as you can s uh, you will see it says it's already installed because our database is already pushed up there you just log in it's even and the password is okay and I'm in my WordPress site okay if we go here you can see this is our test site so test site dot watch dot com so this is great this is very good workflow what you can do now is uh, so let's say you show this to a client client says it's okay but I want you to remove this hello to you too so you go to your local server you just go to your teams your index file and remove this save it and now you don't wanna upload everything again you just wanna upload what was changed so you can do this you can do word move push dash t so this is for theme so you change your theme so you just push the theme theme as and as you can see it pushed just one file uh, it will always push just the files that were changed so if we go to our test site now press f refresh the site it just says hello world it's because it just pushed that index.php file so same goes for images so if you uh, if you add an image uh, to your WordPress site on your local host uh, you want to push that image up so when you do word move push dash u which stands for uploads it will just upload new images so it won't upload all of the images that are already on the server just the uh, new images so as you can see word move is a great tool as I've said I'm not using full word move fun 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 functionality uh, in my workflow I do it with git I transfer all my files with git but I transfer the database with WordMove so I would do WordMove D 
to transfer the database and also since when I'm working with git uh, I git ignore the uploads folder so I'm using word move to push my uploads also up and also to pull my database and to pull my uploads so the pull works the same way you just uh, instead of push type pull so that's it for deploying WordPress I hope this is helpful to you I can't believe uh, I found this word move gem uh, just like a week or a couple of weeks ago because it's just invaluable it's a it's a great great gem for developing uh, WordPress anyway I hope you like this series uh, I hope you will share share your workflow with me maybe I can learn something from you uh, uh, I hope you will learn something from uh, the workflow that was presented in uh, these three videos and that you will be able to use some steps that I've used for uh, for for your own workflow so if you like this video please like it below or uh, I don't know visit my site follow me on Twitter follow me on Facebook if you want uh, and that's it have a good one